Yeah, definitely. We'll have to see what kind of pressure Mew Mew Kitty Cats can establish early on. Method Orange, they're likely going to be going with the Mana Rift strategy once again. How long can Rub Cub hold on to that precious mana? And Rub Cub's actually not using Relentless, which is what we normally see healers opt to use against a Demon Hunter that's going after those Mana Rifts. Instead, we see Mew Mew Kitty Cats are actually going to be pressuring Trill in order to deny a lot of those Mana Rifts. It's when he gets the stuns on Rub Cub, he gets Kidney Shot by Roasties. He isn't it basically doesn't have the time to actually land those mana rifts, and Rev Cub can hold on to his mana for a long time. Method Orange deny the all-in with an equivalent exchange of defensive cooldowns. No overlap on that front, and M2KC definitely relying on Method Orange to make mistakes in this series to find victory. Mez is gunning down for Rub Cub's life. Roasties is being pressured by Trill, but now thwarted away in that kidney shot. Jamili setting up tons of arcane blasts, looking to blink on top of Sidu, maybe for a polymorph, but with multiple interrupts right in front of him, it's unlikely that he'll be able to find that. Instead, pulling away from the pillar, maybe looking to drag Sidu out into the open before setting something up, but Mez doesn't seem to care. He's going to engage with a death grip, triple stun, good combo by both Trill and Mez, really turning up the heat. Rub Cub manages to get out of there alive at least, securing crowd control for his team as well as they look to strike back on Trill. Yeah, big damage on Trill with the full polymorph secured on Sidu. Trill might have to trade out his blur or his darkness, but just really relying on a lot of his self-healing right now. Man manages to keep himself alive, and as long as Mezzatrill is sitting on top of Jamili, he's not going to be able to get out that much casted damage, and they should remain relatively stable, but in this position, Jamili's been able to spam out a lot, a lot of Arcane Blast, actually forcing Trill to retreat. Yep, Trill hiding behind the pillar, pinned down by M2KC. This composition may be the first that they've gone head-to-head -head with it, but they're keeping their strategy more of the same. Mana Rift, Mana Rift, Mana Rift, and inevitably that is a clock ticking away for Rub Cub and his team to find a kill. Will they get it before Rub Cub is tapped out? Right now, pressure on three targets. Rub Cub needs to buy time. He's got another couple seconds, 14 to be exact, until that Avenging Wrath, where he can then bounce his whole team back to full and go for a push. I think it is of uh, utmost importance that Jamili does not overlap his arcane power with Roasty's Vendetta. These two are powerful cooldowns, but can be de denied all at once with one defensive cooldown on the side of Method Orange. So if they split them up, they will at least get two in exchange rather than one and maybe create more openings for themselves. Sidu is trying to sit through a blind currently to not open up any swap windows, but then Trinkets immediately when Vendetta is committed, but now opens himself up to a Hammer of Justice and potential Polymorph. Good crowd control chain initiated by M2KC. Trill denies it with reverse magic, and now Method Orange are pushing. Yeah, definitely. Jamili still finding a lot of pressure off the back of those Arcane Blasts. Rossi's now caught into a stun. Once again, a Mana Ref secured onto Rub Cub. The M2KC there running out of time quickly, although Rub Cub should be able to stay alive with that Avenging Wrath. His mana is not doing well. It's not healthy at this point. So he has a massive lead. And Trill, slowly but surely, with these mana refs, securing an advantage for his team. Now a swap over on a Mez. Smoke Bomb gets dropped out. Can Mez survive? He's able to kite out of it. Sidu finally able to connect a little bit of healing. Good position here by Method Orange. But Mez still has a little bit of catch up here to do. Yeah, Rub Cub is just falling so far behind at this point. It's really not looking too good for M2KC. They did show signs of life, taking out the currently tied 300-point earner, the boys. But here against Method Orange, they're just compositionally outmatched. They're going to need a huge hit. Sidu grounds the incoming Hammer of Justice, denying further crowd control from the side of M2KC. They're going to need a giant wave push, but without dampening, without having cracked the major objective defensive cooldowns, I see no opening. No light at the end of the tunnel for Rub Cub as he is now finally tapped on mana, doing his best with basically nothing, gripped into the fight by Mez. Trill polymorphed away, at least buying Rub Cub a couple of seconds to catch some very slow holy lights. Rub Cub charging across the map. He's just trying to get away from Trill, but moving so slowly. A trill's an inevitability on this reconnect. They stun up Mez, denying some damage, buying more time to breach. Millie ice blocks the hex. Looks to try and reverse with a polymorph, not able to find it. Now does. No reverse magic. They have to get a kill with this polymorph. Who can they go after? They're trying to gun down Mez, but with Death Strike, he's just easily deflects. Blind with a few seconds before that Gladiator's Medallion, but still no pressure. Yeah, this is the point in the game where Mez and Trill can both sort of convene onto Jamili. Try to take him down. He has no ice block. Rub Cub can't afford to go for a drink. He's got Mez's ghoul on him. That's going to be keeping him in combat. Now Jamili's basically left in this situation where there's nothing left for him. He's getting lower and lower. He's caught into the stun. Rossi's trying to create some pressure for his team onto Sidu. Oh! 
the Miracle Swap that they needed. Can they take down Sinu? Anti-Magic Zone gets traded out. Spearling Totem as well. That's what Orange trades out every single th thing that they have available. Rob Cup potentially looking for a drink, but the Demonic Terminator Trill just chasing him down, making sure that's never going to happen. And now with, once again, no mana left in the tank, I don't know how Jamili's going to be able to survive. Yeah, as Avenging Wrath has just faded, Divine Shield trades. <laughs> Maybe there's an opportunity. Just maybe i mean method orange are starting to make some mistakes but i think it's just they're out of time they can't punish these mistakes with what's left in the tank jamilis is plotting down rub cup across the map he's getting soloed by trill trill looks to close with tons of pressure taking down rub cub in game number one method orange definitely heating up they're playing these back to back but the reason we call Demon Hunter DK and New Age Cleave is because Demon Hunters can fly and basically be <laughs> anywhere at any moment in the game. They have just as much mobility. They can be just as far away if they need to be. And then you also just see the sustain that a DK is going to have. It doesn't seem like something that really works the same way that he used to, but we'll have to see what Jamili has in store instantly going on aggro. Jamili ramping up that crusade, so over time his damage is going to increase significantly. Mez trades out throughout the initial aggression with that anti-magic zone. Sidu goes through the mid-range with the earthen wall totem, but right at the end they're going to need something to stop the final punch. Jamili is maxed out on the ramp. How do they respond? Tons of damage, potentially a bit of a disrespect play. Sidu just running away and Ghost Wolf relying on that. The Crusade is now over. Jamili's damage has been thwarted and Method Orange escape unscathed. Yeah, Rub Cub though with his mana doing quite well. Jamili's gonna be able to help him out with that Blessing of Sanctuary to remove some of those stuns, limiting the amount of mana rifts. Trill will inevitably be able to land onto Rub Cub. So that's a good adaptation with the Retribution Paladin. Mez under fire right now, taking a bit of pressure, but Sidu positioned very far away, should be able to easily heal through this damage. Yeah, good positioning on Sidu's part to avoid these Hammer of Justices, but finally one is secured. Rub Cub getting interrupted and dipping fairly low on health. Seth Curry with a double leg sweep stalls it out. Huge damage following through towards Mez. Finally, some pressure here for M2KC, and I, don't, I really don't blame them for trying this. It's a lot better than everything else I was running through in terms of considerations on their roster. So far, it is at least forcing more cooldowns than anything we, they have tried in the past, and potentially this double Paladin pick could be enough to put a point on the board against Method Orange. Yeah, definitely a possibility here, but Mez seeming a little bit stable right now. Hex secured by Sidu, and the good thing about Sidu with the Shaman with these Hexes is there's really no decurse on the team of M2KC, so anytime he secures that, no one's really going to be able to remove it. It's a great crowd oh, grapple. option. Grapple weapon onto Mez, so Seth Curry finally revealing that he does have the Disarm talent, really limiting the amount of self-healing Mez has available. Sidu has to play catch-up, looking for healing waves, manages to find them. Nice winch here into a full Hex, potentially on Rub Cup, gets denied there by Seth Curry. Nicely done. Ring of Peace gets traded out as well as Jamili gets low. And now Method Orange has pressure in two different points. Yeah, Jamili has to Divine Shield. Double stun, though, as Mez gets bursted down. Will this anti magic zone be enough? Appears to be the case. Darkness Jamili's too. Crusade is definitely overwhelming pressure. They do manage to trade at least equally as both sides are running out of key defensive cooldowns. A bit unfortunate that the Hex ends up breaking on Rub Cub. That could have been critical, but Mez is the one who is falling behind. This composition is starting to show that it is going to work. I do see capability for M2KC with this setup. Crusade rolling once again for Jamili. His damage is heavily boosted during this time, but now falling behind. How is Rub Cub going to exchange? He pre-sacrifices the Hex, redirects the damage, immunes the kill, and now his team can lead the charge. Grapple Weapon, Touch of Death, great combo for tons of damage here, potentially onto Mez. Often uses his Glider's Medallion and Connected Death Strike to stabilize throughout that kill attempt. M2KC showing signs of life, but Method Orange keep it methodical. Yep, Sidious still just in the back line, throwing out the heals that he needs to keep him alive. Slowly but surely, Method Orange securing a lead. Rub Cub forced to use the Divine Shield. He needs to get heals off onto Jamili. Jamili still low, struggling here as Trill and Mez are able to connect. Seth Curry comes back. He's trying to peel for Jamili the best he can with the Sable Roots, with the double leg sweep. Trill trinkets out, still looking to take down Jamili with the double stun. Rub Cub really struggling to keep him alive. Sidu moves in for potentially the game-winning Hex, but the Imprisonment looking to deny that. Jamili still low. And all Ultimately, Method Orange claims game number two. And it is going to be an absolute set of blind or potentially Mez as well. If they can land a kidney shot solar beam on him, maybe they can take him down. But 
I think if Trill saves his trinket with the darkness, if Mez does a good job with his anti-magic zone, Method Orange have all the tools they need to survive these all-ins from Mew Mew Kitty Cats. And we see a solar beam attempt, and they are going after Mez. I'm wondering if Jamili may be running Fairy Swarm for disarm effect onto Jamili. That could be a viable option. But in the meantime, Method Orange have completely stalled out that initial attack by trading Glyre's Medallion and Reverse Magic to get out of crowd control. But Roasty's played it smart. He saved his major offensive cooldown, Vendetta, not overlapping it. So there could be an opportunity for him to burst down a target. Jamili is not running the Fairy Swarm, as I was kind of hoping he would in this specific matchup to try and take down the Death Knights before dampening. But with double Thorns, double Innervate, perhaps Rub Cub can extend this fight deeper into a dampening and overwhelm the target with that pressure. Cyclone secured, and Roasty's took the time to commit Vendetta and basically got Nothing done with it on Mez. I mean, look at Rub Cub right now. This is uh, this is just uh, Mez. Maybe, maybe even still, Mez immediately comes out of crowd control, connects two death strikes, bounces back into the fight, and that scary moment is all but evaporated. Yep, Rosie's no vendetta. Jamili, no incarnation. Mez was able to easily trade with his anti-magic zone, and things are looking really good for Method Orange. And M2KC, they need to find damage, and they need to find it fast because they are falling apart. Rub Cubs mana, not looking too great. Sidu has a massive lead. On top of that, Jamili unfortunately overlaps the bark skin with the iron bark from Rub Cub, and now there's not really a lot of defense left for the team of Mew Mew Kitty Cats. Jamili caught in midfield looking to find some pressure, but Mez should be able to just shrug it off, heal through this Moonkin damage so far. Here's a nice little swap over on a trill, but with Trinket and Blur in Darkness, I think he should be able to easily survive. Another adaptation on Mez's part is that he is running the Lichborn Honor Talent, which effectively removes Icebound Fortitude, but more, more accurately makes it a one-minute cooldown with no stun break power added to it but he can use lichborn every solar beam as solar beam is a one minute cooldown crowd control and trill then has access to blur which is a one minute cooldown to trade so they've got an answer for every single solar beam and method orange have basically made their defense bulletproof and that mana rift strategy is just an inevitability at this point for rub cub to be totally tapped out i do think it would be important if m2kc was going to try and go head to head with this that rub cub is either playing the Mistweaver for added punch and that grapple weapon or a Restoration Shaman, as we've seen, is really the only healer that can deal with the Mana Rift over an extended period of time. You see a Solar Beam attempt there by Jamili, but not getting any sort of results with it. And at this point, if you're M2KC, what do you do? I don't know. Try to go after Trill, I guess. Mez really wasn't taking too much damage, so Roasty's trying to slow down some of those Mana Rifts, and that's the strategy adaptation they have made. But with Sidu able to just chase down Rub Cub, Mez not really pressured, Trill not really pressured. I think Sidu should be able to force Rub Cub to stay in combat. There's a full blind secured by Roasty. Sidu just basically sitting through it. Roasty's looking for the sap, manages to find it. Will Sidu trink it out? Looks like he's just going to hold on to it. He knows Trill's not in trouble. He knows that they can potentially close this game out very soon. They don't want to give <laughs> M2KC any openings in this matchup. They're doing their best to not overlap. No panic attacks. Mana in favor. And Sidu is actually running Electrocute and Honor Talent that makes Purge also deal damage. So Sidu, if he can bank a lot of extra mana, we get into dampening and he starts spamming out a couple Purges. That could easily overwhelm Rub Cub in the late game. And I do expect that to be the main win condition here for Method Orange if they're able to make it that far. Maybe they don't even need it. Jamili's just getting crushed under the weight and power of Method Orange here in game number three, managing to stabilize with the cost of a defensive overlap. In the meantime, at least crowd control secured onto Sidu, but Trill is immediately rotated with defense and anti-magic zone for the incarnation of Jamili is more than an equivalent exchange. Sidu trying to grounding totem some incoming crowd control and damage and reposition away from Jamili. Mez is attacking Jamili. Trill is trying to hunt down Rub Cub. Fortunately, at least for 2 kc on Ashmane's Fall. It's one of the biggest maps in the pool, so they may be able to drink and escape, but with that ghoul pet of Mez chasing him, I, maybe it's unlikely. Double root solar beam, reverse magic from Trill gets Sidu out of that crowd control just in the nick of time to start to stabilize. Trill then metamorphosis is on to Jamili, looking to try and find a kill there, but a cyclone on Sidu, a bit of a risky exchange attacking into Thorns while your healer is crowd controlled, but it seems to be an exchange they're willing to take. Yeah, Trill into a kidney shot, could be in some trouble, doesn't want to under react to the Ooh. situation. Method Orange Ooh. will eventually fall. Huge greed there by Method Orange. How 
How did Trill not shrink in darkness there? <laughs> Living on 1% health. Dido connects the Spirit Link totem, and I gotta say, Method Orange, they played that way too greedy. That was really lucky for them to stay in this game. <laughs> Almost throwing it away there on match point, but still the mana lead is established, and Sidu at any point could turn up the heat and start getting some purges out onto the team of M2KC. Just wants to make sure that it is going to end the game because it will cost him a lot of mana to do so. Flyers Medallion on blind, a fair trade on Sidu's part. Trill still with his Flyers Medallion darkness. Multiple options for Method Orange's defense, and even though it got scary, they didn't overlap, so there's no real opportunities that M2KC can take off the back of that other than praying that it happens again and they've got a tiny bit more damage to finally take Trill down. Roasties with limited defense, but at this time, Sidu locked down at Crowd Control. Trill far away, trying to march across the map. Fell Rush into Reverse Magic. Good combo. Trill breaks the chain. Sidu's out and free. Rub Cub surprisingly not tapped on mana at this point. I was expecting him to already be completely burnt out, but it is getting pretty close. Yeah, he's almost completely tapped at this point, dampening at 6%. Rub Cub's going to really struggle to keep his team afloat at this point. Although it's mostly him that's in trouble. Mez is still putting decent amounts of pressure onto Jamili. Another swap here over onto Trill. Sidu making sure he does his job and keeps Rub Cub in combat. But with Trill getting low, with no blur available, Trill could definitely be in a lot of trouble. Sidu doesn't have that much healing to really stabilize Trill. Still not trading out the darkness, holding on to his trinket, really relying on a lot of that leech healing he has available. Finally stabilizing, but these are such close calls on Trill. I really like what M2KC is doing, finally getting some pressure in this match, but it may be too little too late. Yeah, I think they may have wasted too much time attacking Mez in the early game. Trill is definitely the target they should have been going after start to finish. Jamili trying to crank up some damage and look to carry the team to victory here as they are on match point and face elimination. They really have a good opportunity to climb the ranks with Storm already knocked out of the tournament. M2KC doing everything that they can. Cedar still locked down in crowd control, but the pressure is reversing in favor defensive overlap on the side of method orange both anti-magic zone and darkness in one exchange that's an opening m2kc if they can somehow stay in it could have a window of opportunity yeah but it was the vendetta and the incarnation from jamili so it wasn't necessarily the worst trade at least they got those major offensives out of the way managed to stabilize and Sidu at this point hasn't had to play catch up at all because of that Trill once again in a kidney shot and he doesn't have anything left. Sidu caught into a bash. He has the trinket, but no emergency healing. Now into a full cyclone. Can they take Trill down? He's holding on by a thread. Rosie's getting a little bit low as well. I beam gonna heal up Trill just a little bit. Blur still has another nine seconds. This is very dangerous for Method Orange. All right, Sidu's mana is almost evening out, but their defense is still, I would say, ahead over M2KC. But with dampening at this point, Potentially it's anyone's match. Trill getting stun locked. No Gliders Medallion. Smoke Bomb as well. Spearlink Totem denies the kill on that. Good positioning on Sidu's part. Removing that kill window from the team of M2KC. And now Roasty's on the back foot with Rub Cup totally tapped. Maledix flying in, soaking up heals. Roasty's is likely to fall as the pressure is overwhelming. Solar Beam stops the Lava Burst, but they don't even need it. Method Orange with clean defense and a level head advance. Eliminate. Feed versus the fake zebras. We're all tied up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in Battle for Azeroth.